Good day all. Welcome to Smart Bill Guide Tutorials. Concerning personal thermodynamics and the conservation of energy, today we are going to solve the following question. So, as a part of a heat treating operation, a steel pot with a mass of 150 kg is to be quenched from a temperature of 100 degrees to a temperature of 60 degrees. Available as your pension medium is a water bath at 20 degrees and closed in an adiabatic chamber. The specific heat of steel is 473 joule per kilogram Kelvin and the specific heat of water is 4187 joule per kilogram Kelvin. So we are asked to evaluate whether there is any heat transfer into or out of the system consistent of the steel part and the water. Next, to find the minimum necessary amount of water to perform the winching process and see if another liquid is specific, if 10 times that of water was used for quenching the steel part, how much less or more of this liquid would you need to complete the quenching? So, I have the diagram of the question. So I'm going to show you. So this is a diagram of a question, an accurate depiction. So this is a chamber, an adiabatic chamber. There is water inside at 20 degrees, and then there is the steam that is brought into a container at 1000 degrees Celsius. So the best part of the question asks us to determine whether there is a heat transfer in or out of the system. So heat out of the system and heat into the system is zero and our argument is it is an adiabatic chamber. So for an adiabatic system, remember there is no heat transfer into or out of the system. QN zero, likewise heat out is zero. So there is no heat transfer. Then the second part, which is why we are asked to do a calculation to find the amount of water necessary to perform the quenching process. So from the data we are given, the mass of steel serum has 150 kg. The mass of water is a quantity that we are going to find. The temperature of the steel, which we can design it as T1, is 1000 degrees and is equivalent to 1273 in Kelvin if you add 273 in Kelvin. And the final temperature is 60 degrees, which is equivalent to 333 Kelvin. Then the temperature of the water is 20 degrees, which is 293 Kelvin. So from the question, we are given specific heat capacity, both for, for the water and also for the steel. Now specific heat capacity for water from the question is given as 4187 joule per kilogram Kelvin and then that of steel is given as 473 joule per kilogram Kelvin so since it is an adiabatic container or chamber there is no heat transfer into or out of the system as we have established already. So this means the change in internal energy occurs within the system such that the heat gain by the water is the same as the heat lost by the steel or Q water goes to Q steel. So mathematically the heat lost by steel is given by the mass of the steel 
times specific heat capacity of the steel times temperature change in steel which is T1 minus T2 so this is 150 times 473 into 1273 minus 333 we are going to have 66 6 again 9300 juice so combat it to this is 66693 kilojoule this is the heat loss by the steel now the heat gain by water which is QW it's M water Time the change in temperature of water, which is T1 minus T water. Now remember Q water we have established here that QW the same thing as QS. So this is 66693 kJ. Now to find the mass of water, we just have to divide this column here by this. So the mass of water is going to be 66693 kilojoule, that is exponential minus 3, all divided by specific heat capacity of water, which is 4187, multiplied by the change in temperature, which is 1273 minus 293. So at the end, we are going to have 16.25 kg. So this is the mass of water necessary to quench the steel. Now for the C part, it says if another liquid with a specific heat 10 times of that of water was used for quenching the steel, but how much less or more of this liquid would you need to complete the quenching? So we are just going to modify the equation here, which is what I'm cycling here. So since the specific heat capacity of the liquid is 10 times that of water, we are just going to find the mass of that and non liquid let's call it x so the mass of that and non liquid is going to be 66693 exponential 3 all by remember we have 10 here so we multiply the specific heat capacity of water by 10 4187 into 1273 minus 293 and then 1.625 1.63 kg so the mass of that liquid is going to be 1.63 kg now if you compare the two mass of water is 16.25 kg and the mass of that particular liquid, which is, we don't know the name of, is 1.63 kg. Now you can see there is a difference, and the difference is 16.25 minus 1.63, which will give us 14.62 kg. So it is 14.62 kg less the amount of water we need remember you can give your feedback in the comment section thank you for watching the video